I refute these allegations of Bitcoin laundering. I have done nothing wrong. I have always conducted my business with integrity and transparency. These accusations are baseless and have caused undue stress to me and my family. Jimin Qian, a Chinese national also known as Yadi Zhang, has refuted allegations of Bitcoin laundering in a UK court. She maintains her innocence and insists that her financial activities have always been legitimate and above board. Arrested in April, Qian faces two counts of money laundering. The charges stem from an investigation into suspicious cryptocurrency transactions that authorities believe are linked to criminal enterprises. UK authorities suspect her involvement in illicit cryptocurrency transactions before April 23rd. They allege that Qian used her knowledge of digital currencies to facilitate illegal activities, although she vehemently denies these claims. Qian's case has garnered significant attention, highlighting the growing concerns surrounding cryptocurrency-related crimes. The media has been closely following the proceedings, and public interest in the case remains high. The use of digital currencies like Bitcoin for illicit activities presents a challenge for law enforcement agencies worldwide. Cryptocurrencies offer a level of anonymity that can be exploited by those looking to circumvent traditional financial regulations. As the world grapples with the evolving landscape of financial crime, Qian's case serves as a stark reminder of the need for robust regulations and international cooperation. Authorities are calling for more stringent measures to monitor and control the use of digital currencies to prevent their misuse. The heart of the allegations against Qian lies in her alleged connection to a sprawling cryptocurrency scheme. This scheme has captured the attention of authorities worldwide due to its sheer scale and the audacity of its execution. This scheme, orchestrated by the infamous crypto queen, Ruha Ignatova, has been one of the most talked about financial frauds in recent history. Ignatova, a charismatic and persuasive figure, managed to convince thousands of investors to pour their money into what they believed was a revolutionary cryptocurrency. Defrauding investors of billions of dollars through a fraudulent cryptocurrency called OneCoin, the scheme promised high returns with little risk, a classic hallmark of a Ponzi scheme. Investors, lured by the promise of quick riches, found themselves ensnared in a web of deceit. While Ignatova remains at large, her alleged accomplices, including Qian, are facing justice. The legal proceedings have been closely followed, as they represent a significant step in holding those responsible for such large-scale fraud accountable. The scale of the OneCoin scam, estimated to have defrauded investors of over $4 billion, underscores the devastating consequences of cryptocurrency-related fraud. This case has highlighted the vulnerabilities in the financial system and the need for stricter regulations. Qian's alleged role in laundering the proceeds of this scheme places her at the center of a complex web of financial crime. Her involvement is seen as crucial in understanding how the scheme operated and how the illicit funds were moved across borders, making it a truly global investigation. Little is known about Jimin Qian's life before her arrest. Details about her upbringing, education, and personal life remain shrouded in mystery. However, her alleged involvement in the world of cryptocurrency suggests a journey marked by ambition and a willingness to operate in the shadows. Whether driven by financial gain or other motivations, Qian's alleged actions have thrust her into the global spotlight. The contrast between her seemingly ordinary life and the extraordinary allegations against her adds another layer of intrigue to the case. Authorities allege that Qian played a crucial role in laundering the proceeds generated by the OneCoin scam. Using her knowledge of cryptocurrency transactions, she's accused of converting illicit funds into seemingly legitimate assets. This process, known as layering, is a common tactic employed by money launderers to obscure the origins of illegal funds. The intricate nature of cryptocurrency transactions, often characterized by anonymity and cross-border movement of funds, poses significant challenges for investigators. Unraveling the complex web of transactions and tracing the flow of funds requires sophisticated tools and international cooperation. Section 5. Justice awaits co-defendant an upcoming trial in 2025. This highly anticipated trial is set to be one of the most significant legal battles in recent history, drawing attention from legal experts and cryptocurrency enthusiasts alike. 
Jimin Qian is not alone in facing justice. Her co-defendant, Seng Hok Ling, has also pleaded not guilty to charges related to the Bitcoin laundering scheme. Both defendants are accused of orchestrating a complex network designed to obscure the origins of illicit funds. Ling's alleged role in the operation remains unclear, but his connection to Qian places him firmly within the crosshairs of the investigation. Prosecutors are working tirelessly to piece together the intricate details of their alleged criminal activities. The prosecution aims to demonstrate that Ling played a pivotal role in facilitating the laundering process, while the defence is expected to argue that his involvement was minimal or non-existent. The stakes are incredibly high for both parties. The trial, scheduled for September 2025 at Southwark Crown Court, is expected to be a landmark case in the fight against cryptocurrency-related crime. Legal analysts predict that the proceedings will set important precedents for future cases involving digital currencies. The outcome of the trial will likely have far-reaching implications for the regulation and oversight of the cryptocurrency industry. A guilty verdict could lead to stricter regulations and increased scrutiny, while an acquittal might embolden those operating in the shadows of the digital financial world. Section 6, The Enigma of Jimin Qian, Aspiring Buddhist Goddess and Accused Criminal In a strange twist to the narrative, reports have surfaced about Qian's aspiration to become a Buddhist goddess. This revelation adds a layer of complexity to her persona, juxtaposing her alleged involvement in financial crime with a desire for spiritual enlightenment. Whether this aspiration reflects genuine spiritual seeking or a carefully constructed facade remains a subject of speculation. Regardless, it underscores the enigmatic nature of Jimin Tian, a woman accused of orchestrating financial deception while harboring dreams of spiritual transcendence. Section 7. The Implications of Jimin Qian's Case A Global Fight Against Crypto-Enabled Crime The case against Jimin Qian highlights the growing threat of crypto-enabled crime. As cryptocurrencies gain wider adoption, Criminals are increasingly exploiting the anonymity and decentralized nature of these digital assets to facilitate illicit activities. Qian's case underscores the need for greater international cooperation among law enforcement agencies to combat this evolving threat. The cross-border nature of cryptocurrency transactions requires a coordinated global response to effectively track and apprehend those who use digital currencies for criminal purposes. Section 8. The Future of Cryptocurrency Regulation – Lessons Learned from the Ximin Qian Case The Ximin Qian Case serves as a stark reminder of the need for robust cryptocurrency regulations. As the industry continues to grow and evolve, Regulators must strike a delicate balance between fostering innovation and mitigating the risks associated with money laundering, fraud, and other financial crimes. The outcome of Qian's trial may influence future regulatory frameworks, prompting governments worldwide to strengthen oversight of cryptocurrency exchanges, implement stricter know-your-customer and anti-money laundering regulations, and enhance international cooperation in the fight against crypto-enabled crime. Section 9. The Rise of Crypto-Related Crime, a Growing Concern for Global Authorities The case of Jimin Qian is not an isolated incident. Crypto-related crime has been on the rise in recent years, with criminals exploiting the anonymity and decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies to facilitate a wide range of illicit activities, including money laundering, ransomware attacks, and drug trafficking. Law enforcement agencies around the world are grappling with the challenges of investigating and prosecuting crypto-related crimes. The technical complexity of these crimes, coupled with the cross-border nature of cryptocurrency transactions, requires specialized expertise and international cooperation. Section 10. The Evolving Landscape of Financial Crime, Bitcoin Laundering and Beyond the emergence of cryptocurrencies has significantly altered the landscape of financial crime. Criminals are constantly adapting their tactics, leveraging new technologies and exploiting vulnerabilities in the financial system to launder money, finance terrorism and engage in other illicit activities. Law enforcement agencies and regulators must stay one step ahead of these evolving threats by developing innovative investigative techniques 
strengthening international partnerships, and implementing robust regulatory frameworks that address the unique challenges posed by crypto